Hey guys, welcome back to part 5 of the Decker tutorial. So let's quickly recap what the purpose of Decker is. In a nutshell, Decker creates objects and provides them at the right time. But of course this also means at a certain point we have to teach Decker how to create these objects. And right now we know one way of doing that. And this is by constructor injection. By annotating the constructor of a class with add inject, we tell Decker, hey, this is how you create an object of this class. And if we ever need this object somewhere, please instantiate and provide it. But you might have already realized that this is not always that simple. For example, what if we don't own this class and we can't annotate a constructor? So let's say we don't create wheels ourselves, instead they come from a third party manufacturer. And in our code this means that the wheels class is in an external library. Which means that we can't make any changes to it. We can't annotate a constructor with add inject, instead we have to take it as it is. This is very often the case in real apps where you have to use third party libraries. And our wheels need rims and tires, the same as we had it in the beginning, which also come from third party libraries. So we can't annotate the constructors there either. If you want to follow along, you can just create two empty Java classes for rims and tires, and then add them to the wheels class like I did it here. So now the question is, how can we tell Decker how to create wheels, rims and tires? And this is what we have to use modules for. Modules are just simple Java classes. So we create another new Java class. And since the purpose of this module is to create wheels, we call it wheels module. We don't change anything else and click OK. Now to turn the simple Java class into something Decker can use, we have to annotate it with add module, which is another Decker annotation. And you can remember, modules are classes that contribute to the object graph. And the way they do this is over methods. Okay, so what do we need? We need wheels, of course. But for wheels, we also need rims and tires. So let's start with rims. Rims become the return type of this method. And we call it provide rims. No arguments. And then we tell Decker how it can provide rims. This is very simple, it just has to return a new rims object. We can't annotate the constructor, but we can call the constructor ourselves. And then we have to annotate this method with add provides. Add provides is not the only annotation we can use within modules, but the most common one. We will learn about the other annotations in the upcoming parts. And again, the name of this method doesn't matter, only their return type, but it's common convention that it starts with provide and then the type it provides. Okay, so we just taught Decker how to create rims. Pretty straightforward. The next thing that we need are tiles. So again, we create a provides method, which returns tiles. We call it provide tiles. But this will be slightly different. We create a tiles object by calling the constructor. And in our imaginary example, we have to call tires.inflate before they are ready to use on our wheels. Again, this method doesn't do anything besides showing a log message, because it's just for presentational purposes. And then we return this tires object. So you can also use these provides methods to do any configuration on your objects before returning them. And now whenever Decker needs tires, it calls this method, creates a tires object, calls inflate on it, and then it returns it. And now that we have rims and tires, we can create wheels. So we know what to do. Another provides method. This one returns wheels. Provide wheels. And here comes the interesting part. We know that our wheels need rims and tires. And now Dagger knows how to create rims and tires. Which means that the same as in an injected constructor, we can pass these objects as arguments to this method. Rims, tires, and now when Decker calls this provides method, it will pass rims and tires, which it gets from these two methods here, which also means that these tires will be inflated. And then we simply return new wheels, where we have to pass rims and tires. And now Decker knows how to create all these objects, which are not our own classes, but come from an external library where we can't use the inject annotation. And in real apps, instead of calling the constructor, you will often have the situation that you have to call a builder method. 
like retrofit builder. But you can do all this stuff in these methods. The only thing that matters is that you return whatever you defined here. And there is a little optimization that we can do here. Whenever these provides methods don't depend on any instance state of the module, then we can make these methods static, which adds a bit better performance, because then Decker doesn't have to instantiate this module and can call these methods directly on the class. This is just simple Java stuff. Now in some situations these provides methods depend on an instance variable in the module, in which case you can't make them static, but whenever this is not the case, like in our example here, you should make them static. And now the only thing left is that we have to tell Decker to use this module in our component. So we go into our car component, and here behind the component annotation, we make a pair of parentheses, write modules, it automatically adds this equal sign, and then we pass wheels module.class. Now Decker puts this module into our car component and knows that whenever it needs wheels, rims, or tires, which is the case to create our car, it gets them from this wheels module. And if everything worked correctly, we should see our usual car drive log message. And we should also see this tires inflated log message because it calls this inflate method when it provides tires. So let's run it. And we can see tires inflated, remote connected, driving. Remote connected was from the last part. So we can remember modules add objects to the dependency graph over provides methods. If we can't annotate their constructors with add inject, or if we have to do any configuration after instantiating them. Of course, our car itself could also come from a module, but since we still have our inject annotated car constructor, this is not necessary because Decker can call it automatically. And again, the only reason we didn't do the same on all the wheels parts is because we imagined that they are in a third party library and we can't change their code. But we are not done with modules yet. We will keep learning more about them in the upcoming parts, so make sure to subscribe to the channel to not miss that. And if this video is helpful, please leave a like. Take care.